morning everyone welcome back to another vlog i wasn't going to vlog today and then i just thought to myself why not the reason i wasn't going to vlog is because i've got actually not a lot planned but then i thought that could be fun because it's kind of a realistic day in my life with a bit of a day off i'll call it i thought i'll start vlogging show you what i get up to first things first coffee joe didn't make it for me this morning Normally, of late, he's been coming down here, making me coffee and bringing it into bed for me, which is very sweet. Um, but today, no, he's a bit tired today, which I forgive him for. I'm gonna make my own coffee. Currently still using the beans that Bee bought me when she came. So good. It's such good beans. Thank you, Bee, if you're watching. new cups. <gasps> oh. I was like, what have I done? There's no coffee in the cup. I had pressed the button, but I actually hadn't put the coffee on there yet. And I didn't put the coffee cup under the right section. So, okay. <laughs> Take two. This is my go-to seat for my morning coffee. I do want to do a few homey bits today. I want to go have a look at some little shops and get some little trinket bits. I've had my coffee, which always means one thing straight after that. And then I'm going to make breakfast. I'm going to have like a protein smoothie or a yogurt bowl with blueberries. We're doing porridge for Joe, and I think I feel like yogurt. Coconut like yogurt. Coconut yogurt. It doesn't look like yogurt. Coconut yogurt. Coconut yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Change my mind. I'm gonna go for a smoothie. I've got blueberries, banana, put a little bit of almond, breast water, one scoop of protein, some. Organic peanut butter, a little dash of maca powder, a little dash of turmeric, a little dash of organic cocoa powder. And this, I've never done this before, but just a little sprinkle of pumpkin seed. Gorgeous. Delta Goodrum, she's Australian, isn't she? Delta Goodrum. She is, yeah. Wow, this is a good smoothie. Delta Goodrum sang. Because of you, mm -hmm. I, I think so. I don't know, but that. Mm. Amazing. Next thing on the agenda is a workout. Um, and I'm doing this little thing on my Peloton. Let me show you a program on here. Here we go. So I've done, here we go, class two. So today is lower body, 30 minute lower body and core. so good from gymming to saunering this is also a part of my morning ritual um but we all know what comes after the sauna so this is my infrared sauna um that i purchased quite a while ago i've put it in my vlogs before um it's just got so many good health benefits so i purchased this for my health for a little investment in my body um obviously my body is my it's my toolkit, it's my, it's what I use to dance. 
It's what I use to do the things that make me happy, so I've got to look after it. Obviously, also know that not everyone has the chance, the space, the money to be able to do that. Um, but there are like other little alternatives. There's like the little sauna mats that you go into. I had one of those um, before this actually, and that's what made me so hooked and so hooked on the idea that I wanted to get a infrared sauna. This is the Sunlight and one, uh, Sunlight and Impulse infrared sauna. And I've got five minutes left in here, and then we're moving on to the ice bath. Shall I try and do one minute? Yeah, easy. You got one. Can't nice start the timer. Chicken curry. Ready? Yep, I'm in. Go. Okay. okay. Mm. Catch your chicken curry. Yeah. Let me get a bit of ice over towards you. There you go. Stop there moving the water around. Do you feel it? Yes. How long has it been? In through your nose, out through your mouth. How long has it been? Embrace the cold, Diane. And Wim Hof. How long has it been? It's been. You've got 25 seconds left. That's it? Oh, 25 left. 20 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Done. Well, this morning it's done. I feel very good. I'm gonna now pour myself a little green tea. And Joe and I are gonna go to this little like emporium that we've seen. That's the next thing on the agenda. I went for a coffee instead. I've only had one coffee today and I wanted to use this mug. So. All right, I'm now ready. I've actually put on Joe's jumper. I've put my new Invisalign in as well. I have done a full YouTube video, or it will come out at some point, about just purely my Invisalign. I'm getting so much better at speaking with them in um, week by week. It's only week two and I'm already starting to speak so much better and more confident. So we are now gonna go. Joe doesn't wanna go now. No, hang on, so, excuse me. Well, to be honest, there was a cute little emporium that we were gonna go to, but it's actually closed. It's now closed and then it's raining outside. It's a miserable day. We don't, even, we don't even walk around the shops. So I'm now- we have got now... a clear mission of what it is we need to get. Or That's what we need true. To, do you know what I mean? Or is this wasted time? So I'm now gonna go and do a little charity shop look um and hopefully i'll come back with something i hope you do i hope it's something that's beautiful and then i'm also going to come back with some lovely lunch for this one what is Ooh. it you want um maybe one is like breakfast burrito Bre hang on breakfast burrito for lunch yeah or they do like a really good toasted sandwich in there i forgot what they do they get a toasted sandwich with like caramelized onion i feel like might be wrong a toasted sandwich with caramelised onion. Yeah, I might leave what it down else? to you. Okay, leave it to me and I'll bring you back some nice lunch. I've got a meeting. Um, I would love to Tea make nice. a nice, nice soup for dinner. Soup. Would you be keen on that? I'm going to look in my soup book and find oh. a nice soup that I can make. A lovely soup book, you say? I've got a lovely soup book that you bought me. Oh, I've got I'm home! Oh my God. Joe has already gone and put on this incense, which is so good. Oh, Joe's mum got it for us for Christmas. I did find a few things at the charity shop and I got Joe his breakfast burrito, which is voila. Joseph! Oh, it smells so good. And I'll show you the bits and bobs that I got later on from the charity shop so hungry now as well i think i'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs i've got some olives there i'm gonna have some avocado i'm gonna do some mushrooms up so i'm gonna make a little little platter up um, of stuff that i've already got in the fridge so i'm very excited for that because i'm so hungry joey joseph what has he done with the little chair that was there i loved the chair there she's moved a chair joe what did you do with that chair? Uh, moved it. I liked it there. I didn't need your back. There's also a chair, um, a table I want to show you. I think it would look good, really good, right there as our coffee table. 
I, I nearly bought it, but I took a photo instead, and I think I might go back and get it. What? Down, like, there on that thing, a coffee table. Wait, explain, please. I'll show you. You're welcome. Thank you. Enjoy. This is, I think it's my favourite. This. <laughs> Don't you ever worry. I also bought some organic coffee. Mm, organic coffee bags. Organic uh, normal coffee and organic decaf. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm very excited for this. So I went for two eggs mushrooms some olives um like this vegetable mash that i've had in the fridge for a while and just wanted to get rid of it so this oh um first time ever though, I've actually some avocado i know mm. yum little picky plate of good fats vegetables um, proteins. What have I just stepped into? <laughs> we have <laughs> so much going on here. I feel like you need to get your pictures up on the walls. I won't play it now because I don't want to get a copyright strike from the boys themselves. But ooh, did you win Strictly? I did. So this is. My winning trophy of Street Come Dancing, the live tour. We have talked about that. Gone about that all the time. <laughs> this right here. Oh, this is all your winnings. This is a one of a kind. Actually, no, it's one of 150. 150 um, Mario coins that were made Ooh. when the Mario movie came out. They sent me that. <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo. Um, um, I got from an artist called Vex, which is very cool. Behind there is a a clapper board. Oh. The syndicate four. Signed by the late great Kay Mella. Oh yeah. On my birthday that was. 8th September 2020. Oh. My, birth, my COVID birthday was spent with Kay Mella and the cast of the syndicate. So I treasure that forever. Oh. That is very cool actually. And then here we have my, my ten paddle from Craig Rebel Horwood to Joe York Fab Ulus. Lots of love, Craig Rebel Horwood. That's pretty cool as yeah. well. You've got some good shit there. Uh, and then here is my Richard Osmond House of Games winner trophy. That's also very cool. I'm a big Richard Osmond fan. And here is the first yo yo. I don't think I have anything like this. Here's I do first... have one of those trophies. Have you got one of these though? No. The Bumblebee yo yo. I used to have one. I got this. Yo, yo. A, I got this as a kid. I always wanted a Pro Yo Two. Everyone, everyone had Pro Yo Twos, but I wanted the Turbo Bumblebee. Right. And I was so excited when I did get this. This is. Do this you remember is, how to use the Yo Yo? This is all like my people of our generation. This was like. It was. The this same. is what you get for Christmas. Just this. Yeah. This would be your main Christmas present. Whereas <laughs> now kids want iPads and I know. Playstations and. Go on, give us a pledge. Whoa, why are you so good at it? <laughs> Shut up, you know the tricks. Yeah? Did you not see that? <laughs> yes, of course I did. Get that again. You've gone red. <laughs> never, never You've pulled... gone hot and sweaty. I've never pulled that off. You're like so part. red. Oh my god. Have <laughs> I? You've actually really gone red, Joe. Yeah. Baby. I've never seen that before. Did you used to Google how to do certain tricks? Yep, 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 skip, 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 I need to, I need to rub wax on my string because it's like, because it's not. Oh, it's not waxy enough. And it's, it's you need a bit of wax. Also, what's the top ones? You could show me all the bottom. What's those top yep, things? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> What's the top ones? Top left is what you got me. I it's remember it. I got a, you that. It's actually a jelly cat. I didn't realise. <laughs> is it it's jelly a jelly cat? jelly cat. Uh, on a pot plant. And then to the right is a um, deaf, uh, double oh, cake duster. Is that, that's what you said in that video. Right. It's a double cake duster! It's the exact same. It's the same one as well. 
Ready? From when you were a kid. <laughs> what it was that sealed the deal of me and Diane getting together, I whipped my double take death throw out and just did this. And, then it, and I went, oh, okay. She went, he's the one. He's the one. That is my kind of guy. <laughs> what film is this from? Star Wars. Yes, well done. Whoa, well done. That is where the tractor beam is, look. I'm getting so much better at my general knowledge. The tractor beam comes out here. There used to be a little mini Millennium Falcon that lands on there. Um, oh, you've got the big Millennium Falcon yeah, now. Yeah. And then my favourite bit was you had all these little characters that were going here. But there was one. You could open this up. In here was where um, Luke used to live. You press this and that little... Who's Luke? Luke Skywalker. Oh. And here, look, if you turn this over... Is he like a fictional character? Well, he's the main protagonist of Star Wars. Oh. The Star of original Star Wars trilogy. Then down here, you used to always wonder what that was. What Turns is out... It? It, is it a fossil? No, it's two burnt people. Which oh, is no. um, auntie, auntie, oh, is. auntie Ellen and uncle someone. That's terrible. Yeah, it's two dead. His dead parent, his dead uncle and auntie, just dead there. That's so My bizarre. favorite bit was this. This is kind of like Polly Pocket. Micro machines. This was, and then he presses here, and that <laughs> stands up. You and you've got a gun. Me. Oh wow! You would have loved that. Did you absolutely love it? Did you yeah. play? How often did you I, play with this? You can see it's it's been so used. That it's gone slightly like off colour. Guess the year. Did you take mm, 1994? Close. Five. No, other way. Three. No, other way. Three. No, oh, yeah, keep going. 1994. No. Five. 1990. Six. Seven. 1997. Yeah. I was eight years old, so you would have been six. I'm not one year younger than you, am I? Two. If I was eight. You said you were seven. I was eight. Did I, oh, I was eight. <laughs> yeah, I would have been six. Hey, six stars. <laughs> I just create an ambiance in this room. Yeah, nice one. It's my office. All right, show me what you want to show. So, I've convinced Joe to come down with me and get this coffee table. I don't even know if I spoke about this coffee table, but I saw this really nice coffee table that I think would look really good in the place, in the place, in our house. Um, I showed Joe a picture and we're going down to get it because I needed help because it's quite heavy, number one, and my car wouldn't fit it in it. So she did actually say she would, she could deliver it, but oh, I think, really? yeah, but I wanted to check with you first, number one, and number two, it will fit in your car. I've seen lots of other coffee tables that I would have picked probably over this one. This is really cool. I mean, it does look cool. It's a really cool coffee table and I love it. And it's low to the ground, which is what Joe really wants. And yeah, I just really like it. I am one happy camper. Yeah. Because Joe actually liked it. You've had a haul there. Jenny. I've had a little haul. I got a few things actually. Oh, I would have loved to have a look in that shop too. Yeah, it's a good shop. But we go in there like once a week and I think they're such, she's starting to think that we're like, <laughs> we do go in that shop a lot Weirdos. and we hardly oh no we did buy quite a bit last time I yep, yep, yep. but i do love that shop but anyway i'm really happy with my purchases and i will show you when we get home what i got and where it's gonna go so i've gone and got a new bamboo like that because i just love them i already had one here but i love it so much that i got another one um but now that joe's said this wood actually does look better in here and that would look better in our bedroom because i'll show you why because there's a mirror that i bought in the bedroom um that i love and it's kind of white and crispy like that crispy i'm using really great terms aren't i uh but in comes joseph with my new coffee table by the way, I'm wearing Joe's clothes today. They're my jeans, but Joe's jumper. It weighs a ton. Yeah, it does. I think Come on. it might be an outdoor table. No, it it's not. I'm so excited. I think this is going to look gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Joe, that really makes the room look rustic and cool. I'm obsessed. Have a look. Come back here and have a look. You're lucky. I can still see the fire. I told you you would. Look at that. That's perfect. 
Hold on. It actually looks really good in here. Are you proud? That's a good find. Very. We did have a compliment at the weekend, so it's a very cozy. cozy like that, because we always yeah. have cups of teas and stuff and know where to put them. We do have these side ones. Yeah. However, I feel like that side one might be a bit much there now. Do you reckon? Maybe. I'm going to have a little play around in a bit. I would probably be more... I, I know what I'm going to do, but yeah, I love it. Get that and over. Yeah, probably. But I actually love it. How nice is that? Yeah. Really cosy. And this still goes here. That still goes there. So you can sit in this one and have your feet up. Yep. Yeah, I do like that. It's nice, isn't it? There's some magazines on the bottom bit. Yeah. Put some, oh, yeah, because there's a little bottom rack as well. Get your... Um, Love it. Get your what's it called? Oh, what? On my coasters? Coasters. I kind of went to town in there. Well, I say I went to town. I bought the ladder. I bought the coffee table. And then I bought these coasters as well. Huh? You just put the magazines there. From the ones that were there. So these are the coasters I got, which again, just the, the color scheme, it is quite, they, like it's perfect. It matches so well everything. I think it's probably better if they're just in a pile. Really? Yeah. That. Yeah, because it's not a dinner table, is it? Or, oh, no, you pop them underneath. Oh yeah, cute. Like that. You probably put them, I'd probably put the magazines like on. Looks quite cool. Love it. Oh, well done, this Diane. It's heavy as well. It's like a real... It's a solid. And it was, a solid do you know what, guys? Of... I'm going to tell you how much it was because it was such a good bargain. It was £79 and it was from a local little store. Don't think those are like just a homemade piece, um, like proper, a one-off. That is so solid. A one-off homemade piece. That, like, £79, That is that looks so much more expensive. Yeah. Doesn't it? I like that it's not perfectly straight. It's like it feels yeah. more sort of like home. Well, it is. It's homemade. I love it. It is homemade little piece of furniture. Supporting small businesses as well. Yes. Which that's what we like to do every weekend. Cozy vibes. And we've got this, which is from a boot sale. Oh, it's yeah. Easy. I love that easel. You need to do a little picture on it. Well, I'm waiting for you to get naked so I can draw you naked. <laughs> Paint me like one of your... What did she say? Uh, French girls. Yeah, that's it. Paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. I've just literally spent the last probably hour just tidying up the house and making it feel all cosy. I put some candles on, some nice scents. Um, and then I got to this, KitchenAid. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but I got the KitchenAid from Joe for Christmas and I've not opened it. And my God, there's so much stuff you can do. Like I was just looking here. I'm so adult now talking about a KitchenAid on my blog, but it looks so cool. Like you can make mints, you can make those pasta. This is what I want to try and make the pasta, vegetable pastas. You can make cheese, you can make, well, you can grind cheese, make pasta from it. You can obviously bake cakes with it. There is so much you can do with this KitchenAid. I didn't realize how much stuff you can do with the KitchenAid. I've decided, I've decided to open it. Stop. Stop. Look at all these things you can do. Yeah. Uh, you just gotta buy every single attachment. Oh, do you? <laughs> well, obviously, I don't think they're all in there, are they? Oh, I don't know. Can you hold it while... If I was in charge of KitchenAid, like... that's what I'd do. I'd, I would... If, if you want to run a successful business... Yeah, that's a good point. You don't add all that in. You make... You, people have got to pay I if they want the extra... Pet shop. If they want the courgette. KitchenAid book. And, and are you going to read that? No. Are oh, you heck. I didn't know, colour-wise... Oh, I didn't know if silver the right one, but actually maybe it will be quite nice, actually. It's like a sort of... Well, it matches our um, It kind of goes with, goes with the kitchen coffee machine, yeah. I was going to get you like a colourful one, but... Oh, duh! Yeah. But you know, don't force anything. Unlock. That's it, that's it, unlock it. So you pull that, then lift. Oh, yeah, look at that. You used it on, um, you used it on Bake Off. Oh my God. Well, I've never been on that show. If the producers of Bake Off, Bake Off, Bake Off are watching, I would love to go on that show. Love Productions.
Huh? Love Productions. Oh, there you go. Love Productions. I want to go on it, your show. <laughs> Look at that. Um, please. Oh, so you do need you to should, get attachments. You should read, yeah, but you should read, um, maybe maybe highlight which attachments you'd like and I can, and your birthday's coming well, up Well, so. I was looking at... <laughs> the sausage the, maker. No, the, where, this one, the part, the like vegetable like pasta that. maker, yeah. So you whack on your cucumber and it'll, oh, that's, that's clever. That's what I want. Cucumber and, attachment. Oh, oh, and... The ribboner? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Really? Because I ain't going to be making mint, let's be honest. It's good for baking, though. You've already got the baker, you've already got the whisk on there, which is good. Yeah. But read the instructions or watch a YouTube tutorial There's on also it. also the pasta maker. That could be fun. I think you should, wa I think you should watch a YouTube tutorial on it. Yeah. I'm going to put it, it down you. there, though. But it suits you, madam. Does it? Yeah. Look, Do you like it? It's quite a lot later in the day now. I have been pottering around all day just doing bits around the house and I've absolutely loved it. It's been a really long time since I've actually just potted and it was lush. I have to show you what I got from the charity shops. Um, might be a bit tacky, but I absolutely love it. And it was two pound, a little D. Um, I might actually put that D like here. It's well cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Um, I got, oh, I forgot I got this. I really like it. God, it's very pink, my pink theme. So I got this um, kind of like a painter's tea, um, oversized painter's tea. Let me just chuck it on. This with a pair of like tight jeans and a boot would look super cool. That was, can't remember how many pounds, four pound, I think. I love these pants. I can picture these with a little red lip on. They're so lovely. These are my little beauties. Look at those shoes I got for four pound. And I absolutely love them. They're so comfy. They're a top shop, so probably quite old because there is no such thing as top shop anymore, is there? Oh, my stuff, bro. They're so comfortable. So comfortable. I love them a lot. They'd be so cool with a pair of jeans in like the spring. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I like this whole outfit actually. What else did I get? Oh, I got, these were 50p each. I couldn't go past this little hat, which I thought was so cute. How cute is that hat? 50p. Fits my head so well as well. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that is well cute. And then I got this beanie because it was 50p and I was wearing a top that was this color. And I quite liked it. That was my purchase from the charity shop. I haven't done a charity shop little hole in a long, long time. So there you go. Oh, and my D. Let me show you my D where I put it. There she is. There's the D in all her glory. I think that's so cute. It's soup making time. So I've got all the stuff. Well, I kind of got all the stuff. There's some bits I do not have, but I'm just gonna have to make do. Um, like I didn't find any ginger, but I got ginger powder. Uh, what else? I've got carrot, I've got dot cubes, I've got bok choy, I've got rice noodles. Yeah, fab, okay. Heat oil and then ginger, garlic, chili and carrot. Okay, let's make this soup. Oh my God, this looks so good guys. So good. Bok choy. Noodle. Is actually incredible. Mm, so good. That is the perfect dinner. Yum. And to finish off the lovely day, we just had a gorgeous bath and we're watching a bit of Tom's syndicate in bed. The life of Tom. The life of Tom. Watching Tom's life. What a perfect way to end the evening. <laughs> bit of Tommy. I can't tell you being serious or not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love a bit of Tom in the evenings. Do you? I do love Tom. I know you love Tom, but do you love Tom in the evenings? Yeah. Love him in the morning, love him in the evening, in the afternoon. <laughs> Just love Tom.
Skittimarinky dinky dink. Skittimarinky do. I love you. Anyway, good night. Good night. Skittimarinky dinky dink. Skittimarinky do. Good night to you too.